Be careful of the restaurant you eat. Greetings according to your time. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you are returning, you are highly welcome. This is the story of Ada, the young lady that always eats outside. She don't like cooking at all. She prefer eating outside instead of cooking. She feel it's more stress free and it's also stressful to cook and eat. Instead, she prefer buying food from a nearby restaurant. Just listen to the story of Ada. Click out. Please don't forget to drop your comments and also share this video, including dropping your opinion at all. And also, where are you being from? How often do you eat outside? Let us know at the comment section. Are you the type that enjoy outside meal or you are the type that enjoy cooking your own? Let us know at the comment section. Let us wasting too much of your time. Let me quickly tell you this real story of Ada. This is a real life story of Ada, a girl that came to stay in a nearby village where she's schooling in Africa. Now let's meet and the dirty restaurant. That is the title of this video. Ada was a student in one of the best universities in the of Africa. One afternoon, the sun blazed down, making the air sticky and heavy. She closed her back tight, feeling the edge of her last scramble notes. Just one more meal, she sweat off her bro. The market was live with its usual troop and vendor, shouting over one another to hawk their wares. Children dancing between steel and music blasting from a nearby electronic shop. The aroma of a fried fish, plantain, and roasted corn mingled with the peanut strength of open gutter. Ada tried to block it all as she made her way towards her far corner of the market, where a small restaurant awaited. The restaurant is called Mama T. Booker, was famous in the area for years. It has served as a haven for those who couldn't afford the cleaner prizier and eatery in town. Its reputation for questionable hygiene was at work by a generous portion and irresistible flavor. For Ada, it was the only place where the restaurant was between a shop selling spare motor parts and a stair overflowing with a second-hand clothes. From the outside, it was a wooden frame covered with metal shape stick with gram and faded advertisement for malt drink a pashi hung over the entrance lazy in the hot breeze ada hesitated at the doorway today the place looked even dirtier than the usual a stray dog grew at the chicken bone by the entrance while flies buzzed around over a pile of trash near the wall ah ada you've come back boom a familiar voice. Mama T stood behind the counter, her wide, sweating face breaking into a tossing grin. She was a large woman, her ample frame switched into a faded floral dress, a towel hung over her shoulder, its edge darkened with grass and dirty. Yes, Mama Ada replied weakly, just a small plate of jello fries and fish, please. Mama T nodded and back on an order to one of her assistants. A teen girl with a permanent scope patch on her face. The girl reached for a pot on the counter, scooped a half full of bright orange rice onto a plate and topped it with a piece of fish. The fish looked slightly burnt. Ada paid and took her plate to a table near the corner, the wooden bench under the weight as she sat there carefully not to let her clothes touch the sticky surface of the stable around her. Other dinner ate noisily and obviously to the dirty and flies around them. As Ada took her first bite, she tries to block out her surrounding. The rice was spicy and flavorful. The fish scrappy and rich. For a moment, she forgot about the filthy and dirty environment and concentrated solely on the taste. But then, as she reached for another bite, she noticed something in her eyes, a small, tiny stand of hair. As that froze, her appetite vanished. She glanced around the restaurant, 
her gaze landing on the open kitchen at the back. The kitchen was partially visible through a curtain of faded clothes. Inside, she could see Mama T and her assistant moving around, their hand busy with pots and plates. The counter where the food was prepared was a mess of spilled oil, crushed tomato and straight piece of meat, a bucket of water in, in a corner, food with dirty, had just too much trouble. She pushed her plate aside, suddenly regretting her decision to eat here. But before she could dwell on it, a sharp pain through her lower abdomen. She realized she needed to find a toilet and fast. Excuse me, she called out to Mama T. Where is the toilet? Mama T barely looked up from her cooking. At the back, she said, waving her hand towards the direction. Ada stood up and she made her way to the back of the restaurant. The smell grew worse as she approached the place. Mix of rotten food, stagnant dirty water that is not flowing, and something unidentifiable. She reached a door at the end of the corridor and pushed it open. Expecting to find the toilet, instead she found the kitchen. The side before her made her graze. The kitchen was a scene of utter like a gutter, put over on a roasted gas stove. There are the counter were makeshift wooden plank, prone by a brick cover in a sticky layer of a graze and ground piece of raw meat, lace scattered next to an unwashed vegetable. Flies have and flies surrounded the unwashed beef around the corner. In the middle of it all, one of the assistants crossed on the on the floor, slicing onion with a dull knife. Her dress was stained with oil. Other eyes went straight to a bucket of water by the sink. But what she assumed was a sink, the water was brown. The surface was so disgusting. Fried realized with horror that this was like the water used to wash the plate and utensils yesterday. Her stomach began to turn and she clapped a hand over her mouth, going out of the kitchen. She slammed the door and leaned against the wall, her chest heaving. How have I been eating here? She whispered to herself, her voice trembled. She didn't want, she didn't wait to find the toilet. Instead, she grabbed her bags and hurried out of the restaurant, ignoring Mama T's call behind her. Mama T is a fat, Mama T is a big sized woman with a lot of bushy hair in her armpits. She usually cook with a sweaty face and body. Sometimes she uses the scoop she's using to cook the food to scratch her armpits. She uses the same scoop to turn the food. As she stirred the food, sweat dropped onto the food, including that of her assistants. No one seems to be clean in the restaurant. They all clean their nose around the food and also laugh over the food with a lot of salivas around the food. Before they bring it to the counter, the food must have gone through a whole lot of disgusting things. And apart from that, the food is being surrounded with flies of different sizes. The floor is so dirty that you could find a life rat scrolling around. Had I left the restaurants and rushed home? She rushed home and began to gist her friend. She said, BC, you won't believe what I saw today. The nearby restaurant who we thought is the best restaurant ever. What is going on there is unbelievable. I can't even imagine what I saw. Then she continued. She narrated the whole story to her friend, BC. And BC asked, are you surprised? She said, raising an eyebrow. Everyone knows that the place is dirty, but the food is cheap and it tastes good, so people kept on going. I can't believe I kept eating there. Ada said, checking her head, I feel so stupid. It's not just you, BC replied, it's the whole system. There are so many places like that, and the people don't have a choice. If you can't afford clean food, you settle for what you could afford. BC roared straight with Ada. She realized that Mama Tid Booker wasn't an isolated 
tech case, it was part of a larger problem. Many people in our community had no choice but to eat at a place like this, risking their health because they could afford anything better. Over the next few weeks, Ada began searching food hygienic and safety. She read articles, watched videos, and spoke to people in her community. She learned about the risks of eating contaminated food and the simple measure she could improve sanitation in the kitchen. Inspired Ada to decide to take action, she started a small awareness campaign, visiting local restaurants and markets to talk about food hygiene. She printed flyers with tips on cleanliness and handed them out to vendors. At first, people cried. Some laughed at her, while others walked away without collecting the flyer. Her message began to spread. A few vendors started cleaning their steel more regularly, and some even adopted her suggestion, like covering their food and using clean water for washing. Even Mama T took notice. One day, she called Ada over as she passed by the restaurant. You've been talking about me, haven't you? Mama T said. Her voice tinged with annoyance. I have been talking about your food hygiene. Her dad replied calmly. It's not just about your restaurant, it's about everyone. Mama T studied her for a moment and then sighed. Maybe you are right, she said, but change isn't easy. We do what we can do with what we have. I don't know that I understand, but even though small change can make a big difference. At this time, Ada campaign gained more popular and the vendors around started taking the message seriously. As for Mama T, her restaurant remained a work in progress. But every time Ada passed by, she noticed small improvements. A cleaner counter, cover pot and even a new water bucket. It wasn't perfect but it was a start. As for Ada, that was enough. This complete draft, that was how Mama T began to clean her restaurant and started eating good food. Now, where are you going from? Don't forget to let us know where you are going from and also why you should be careful eating outside. I think it's more economical and even more hygienic you cook your own food. And if you must eat outside, be careful of where you eat. Study the environment before you order food. If the environment is not hygienic enough, don't forget to pick your things, your phone, your bag, your purse, your wallet and walk away. It's not a must to eat at a particular restaurant that is not clean enough to your satisfaction. Don't forget to like and share and also subscribe including dropping your comments at the comment section. I'll see you in my next video.